Praise God, praise God, you beautiful, beautiful people on YouTube and on Facebook. Blessings to you and your family today. My God, this is Winning Wednesday. My God, whatever you get to do today, I, I do believe you're going to be a winner. My God, especially if you baby saints out there or the people that don't know nothing about this God. If you just look up to the heavens of heavens and say, Lord, I thank you for my wife. Look over at your wife and say, Lord, I thank you for her. Look over at your husband and say, Lord, I thank you for him. Look in that room in there. You got three children in there. Twelve, seven, and three. My God, look in there. Say, Lord, I thank you. They help me while you're getting them babies up ready for school. Well, I told you we'd get to this point. I told you at the beginning of spring, uh, my God, beginning of summer, that get your school stuff ready. Get your school stuff ready way before this day. Now you're rushing around trying to get backpacks and trying to get car seats and trying to get children to school. My God. And I know it's a lot of work, single women. I'm not going to worry about the single men right now. We're going to talk about the single women. I know it's tough. Two or three children, got to get them different places, different schools. My God, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, so you have to be prepared and you have to be prepared to win because, you know, 90% of the stuff we do, we did it to ourselves. You know, you in jail because you got drunk and tore up three or four cars and hit a person and injured them. You in jail because you called, you hearing that pistol. You in jail because you stabbed her. You in jail because you had domestic violence. And you know what? You got to get all that back. Whatever a man saw of Shelly Reed, so you don't get away, even if you think you got away, if that makes sense. Well, let's, we're going to talk about something today is very important and how God wants us to, to, to uh, be winners. And here are about 40, it's about 40 uplifting verses, 40 uplifting, ver uh, did I say 40? Yes, I did. 40 uplifting verses to help you be a winner. Let's be a winner. Nobody goes to the track uh, coach and tell him, yeah, uh, today, coach, you know, I'm going to do good, but I'll probably get third. No, 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 no. You have to be a winner. Let's look at Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things, my God, through him, somebody would say, through Christ who strengthens me. I tell people all the time, oh, yeah, I, yeah, I got to work on Sunday. Yeah, but not if you didn't have your strength. No, I would come to church, but you know, I you know, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Not if you don't have your strength. You can't do nothing. There's somebody this morning can't talk. George, is you okay? Let that sink in for a moment. Somebody's on the dialysis machine this morning. Are you? And if you're not, you better look up. See, this is the time right now. This is the season that God is trying to see who's real. R-E-A-L. Somebody said R-E-A-L. Where is the real people at? There's, my God, there's fake in the church. There's fake on my job. There's fake with family members. There's fakey friends. Come on, there's fakey coworkers. Where is the real people? With the real people, please stand up. I'm so tired of fake. I don't deal with faith. 1 Corinthians chapter 16. Let me put these specs on a little bit. Chapter 15, verse 57. But, think, but thanks be to God. Thank you, Lord. Who give me to give you the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. But thank you, Lord. Be to God who gives us victory through the, our Lord Jesus Christ. My God, so have victory today. Be a winner today. My God, win your boo back. Come on, tell her. I made a mistake, sweetie. I'm going to do better. I'm going to be better. Look at your wife. Tell her I'm going to start bringing my money home. Come on, somebody. Instead of going to the casino, going to the dope house first. Come on, tell your husband I'm going to start cooking. Stay out of the hairware store. My God, I'm going to start making biscuits. Come on. My God. And sisters, if it be real, let's be real. From the from first day of spring to now, if you add up the money you spent on your hair, nails, and feet, you have a lot of stuff ahead for this school year. 
Come on. One thing I loved about Jesus, he is real. He gave you the word and pew. And sometimes as people, we could talk to you so long, we preach the hell out. And you need to stop doing that. And, and you need to stop doing this because this and that will give you hell. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It ain't no time for that. It's time for you to stop being a hoe. Time for you to stop being on them drugs. Get off that alcohol. Come on, it ain't doing no good. It's firing you down. You should be able to see that because it's happening to you. And God is not stupid. He gave us the ability to make the right choice when you first get into your flesh. When your flesh tells you to do something wrong, God give you the ability to make a right decision. But what we do, we overlook it. Don't go in that bank. I need this money. See, that was that spirit letting you know. Don't hit her. You know you can get in trouble. I don't care how mad you get. Walk away. And you stay there. And you hit her. That's your fault. Come on. You in them beefs with family members because you talk too much. Quit talking, people. Especially if you don't know nothing about it. Come on. The Facebook and YouTube the same way. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you say about your relationships on, on Facebook. Come on. Everybody don't like you. Don't tell where you're going. Don't tell your events. I don't do that with Facebook. Come on. Now, on YouTube, I, look, I tell a little bit what I do. You can see what I do. I do a lot of stuff. Mm -mm. But you can't catch up with me because sometimes I can't catch up with myself. My God, I love you guys. This is Winning Wednesday. Win your joy back. You haven't laughed since 2001. It's 2000, getting ready to be 2024. And you ain't been laughing yet. A bad relationship. Come on. Look straight ahead. If he ain't doing nothing or she ain't doing nothing to help you go to another level, depart and hook up a little later on when you both get established or don't have so much luggage. This was Winning Wednesday. I love you all. You guys be blessed. Remember, win.